Hey there, today we're going to talk about some of the ways that you can edit your photos in Canva. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to open a design. I'm just going to open an Instagram post square. So I came up here to create a design and then hit Instagram post. You can search in this box if you don't see it at the top. And now this is open. So I have some photos over here. Um, and you can search for what you're looking for. I'm just going to use um, this one. So I've got this and I click on it. It gets added to my design right here. Now I'm going to come up here with this selected and hit edit photo. First, I am going to do the background remover. It says BG remover. Click on that and the background gets removed. I can pull this in and kind of crop it if I want to, just so it's not taking up so much room. I can pull the corners to make it a little bit bigger. Now something I can do is come here to Magic Eraser. If I click on that, I can change the brush, brush size here, and I'm going to just erase this plant. And I'm going to be careful to not touch the pencil cut next to it. Now we're going to see how that turns out. Okay, I'm going to pull this in a little bit more and center it. Now I'm just going to put a background here. I'm just going to add a rectangle. So I'm hitting R on my keyboard. That adds this color box. Now I can put this in the background. I'll just change it to one of my brand colors. And now I'll go to position and pull it to the back. And now I'm just going to give my background a color. All right, let's go back to edit photo. I can go to the filters right here if I wanted to change the tone of my photo. And I'm just going to play with some of these. You can see what you like here. Uh, I'm just playing around with um, the different type of filters. And if you can pull this little bar underneath, it takes away some of the intensity of the filter. I can also come in here and hit adjust and I can change the, the tone again here, like the temperature and the tint. I can change the brightness a little bit um, and play around with this here. Once you have the photo looking the way you want to, you can add text. I'm just going to come here to text. I have got my brand kit set up so I can hit heading. That's going to pull in um, my fonts and can hit subheading. Add that here. I can come in here to my brand kit and click logo and my logo gets added just like that. If I wanted to add a screen to this computer, I'm going to come to elements and type in grid and I'm going to hit this grid option right here. It's going to fill up the whole page, but I'm going to make it so it's just filling up that computer screen and it's stuck in the back. So I go to position and then I slide it on top of the computer. There it is. Now I can do a screenshot from my computer that I brought into Canva. And that makes it look like a actual computer screen that way. So that's one way that you can use uh, the photo editing. Here's another way. Let's come back to photos. I'm going to use the same photo. And I'm going to see what happens here. I'm going to go to edit photo and I'm going to do magic expand. And it can expand to the whole page. You see how like the desk kind of ends um, at the bottom and I want and the wall stops right here. I want it to fill up my whole page, so I'm gonna hit Magic Expand, and I'm gonna see how it turns out. Okay, then I have all of these different options, and I can play around with these, see what I like. It's kind of like trying to continue a desk for me. I just want it pretty simple, so I actually like this one, and then I hit Done. So now I have the photo that has extended out um, the wall and the desk a little bit more. So now the photo takes up the whole space. Um, okay, 
So that's something else you can do. Come over here to edit photo. If I had any text on this page, you can say to grab the text. It'll pull the text off. Um, let's try this one, magic grab. It's gonna pull these elements off of the photo so that I can move them around. See, now I can pull all of these images around. I could um, put the background, make a full background color here just by, I'm just going to hit R, add this box, I'm going to pull it to the back, go to position, layers, pull it just right behind there because this is that actual photo. And then I'm just going to change the color. So we've got like that. We lose the shadows um, and so you can decide if that's something that's going to look right to you. Um, but it's a fun way to pull things out of photos and um, just use little pieces of what you need to really make your design pop. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and have fun using photos in Canva. We'll see you next time.